Chapter five, the universe. If you ever have been far away from city lights, then you'll know that when we look at the starry sky on a clear dark night, we see countless stars covering every inch of the sky. But when we look at the sky above the earth, we see a vast emptiness between our earth and the nearest neighboring star. If we let our mind think about this, we realize that even though the stars seem close to each other far, far up in the sky, they cannot really be that close together. If they were, we would see stars in our own sky above the earth as close as the moon. The truth is the nearest star to our sun is about 32 trillion miles away. This tells us all the stars above, even though they seem close to each other, must be separated by about the same distance as well. It's like looking at the lights of a distant city. They seem closely packed together, but when I reach the city, I realize that there's plenty of space between the lights. Looking from a distance gives the illusion that they are close together. The same is the true with the stars. Our intuition tells us that if we could travel to one of the many stars above, we would discover that it sits alone in the sky just like our sun, separated from its nearest neighbor by about the same distance of 32 trillion miles. This begins to give us an idea of the size of the universe. But let us continue with this thought. What can we consider as a model of the universe? The universe is made of countless solar systems. The earth is made of countless atoms. Solar systems and atoms are identical, differing only in size. If the universe is made of solar systems, which are identical to atoms, and the earth is made of atoms, which are identical to star systems, then the earth must be identical to the universe, only much smaller. As above, so below. Our mind concludes that the earth is a mini universe. Its stars are the atoms that make it up. Here's the full cycle of creation. We start with the electron, then atoms, then the earth and other planets, then the solar system and other star systems, then the universe. That is going from the bottom to the top, the smallest to the largest, the beginning to the end. But a full cycle has the same beginning and end point. What does our intuition tell us? It tells us the beginning point, the electron, is the same as the end point, the universe. We have come full circle. The electron is a mini earth. The earth is a mini universe. As above, so below. How can we find out the size of the universe? By knowing the size of the earth. How many stars are in the universe? Same number as atoms in the earth. The law of creation is the same.